Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, March the 7th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather improving later today. Question is, will it rain on Sunday over the weekend? Some models say yes, some models say no. We'll take a look. Start with the big picture. Very deep, cold core upper trough is now east of the state. We have the dynamic cooling. Yesterday had the cold air damming. It was a cold rain that came down. Up to the uh, north of us, northeast of us, there's some uh, freezing rain and sleet issues over parts of uh, Virginia and North Carolina. But around here, things aren't too bad this morning. That's the radar at 5.02. You can still see we still had some light rain uh, from Anniston back over to Heflin and Fruithurst. Also some rain from near Verbena in Chilton County down toward Lake Martin. Uh, all of that uh, rain and drizzle should be over by mid-morning as dry air begins to return. Temperatures are as cold as 31 up in Haleyville. What happened? The sky cleared up there, and that's the reason it's colder. And also there's some very dense fog up in parts of uh, northwest Alabama. The wet ground and the clear sky, the light wind. Uh, down this way, upper 30s and low 40s, actually warmer than at this time yesterday afternoon when the cold core was passing overhead. And around the nation, uh, temperatures are slowly moderating. As we uh, move towards spring, although a new surge of uh, cold air is nosing down into Montana and North Dakota. Up on the watch warning map, winter storm warnings in effect, parts of North Carolina and Virginia. And again, a handful of counties in northwest Alabama under a dense fog advisory. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday morning. And clearly the guys here at WPC think that we're going to get some rain Sunday because they've got uh, rain amounts of, what, th three quarters of an inch here. I'm not so sure we get that much. Let's go in there and take a look at this. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Strong short wave to the east and down below that. The sky should clear this afternoon. And we're starting off the day with low clouds, fog, drizzle, some light rain, but I think the sky will be much brighter after the lunch hour. And if the sun does break out, the high today should be at or just over 60. Tomorrow looks A-OK. -okay. We'll have sunshine through high clouds and the high at or just over 70. Both models are printing 71 for Birmingham. The big question for the weekend is Sunday. We have a weak front, a boundary approaching from the north, and uh, the GFS not showing much at all. However, the high-resolution NAM is suggesting that showers will move into Alabama Sunday morning, and there could be some rain around at times. And considering the pattern in the performance bias of these models, I think we're going to need to mention some risk of showers Sunday. Does it rain a lot? No. Will it rain all day? No, but it could rain a little bit at times, and we will insert that in the forecast. Still, one way or the other, Sunday should be relatively mild with a high in the mid to upper 60s. This is Monday. Should be a nice day. The uh, sky partly to mostly sunny. Low 70s. Tuesday could be very mild. In fact, the GFS has gone crazy, and they've hit a, printed a high of 77 for Birmingham. Not convinced it'll be that warm, but it should feel very good. We've got that disturbance producing rain south of the Louisiana coast. And then Wednesday, that feature moves in here, and a surface cold front moves in. So, again, it uh, looks like our next chance of showers will be late Tuesday night or Wednesday of next week. I don't think it rains a whole lot here. Uh, no severe weather, but clearly a chance of showers. And then Thursday, we've got cold air advection. Highs will drop in the 50s. This is right. We could be in the 30s early Thursday morning. And this is Friday, a week from today. The pattern is relatively zonal. 
And down below that, the air is dry and the sky should be mostly sunny. And again, that would suggest we start the day in the 30s. The high would be in the lower 60s. Go out there a few more days. March the 20th, troughing over the east. That's suggesting some colder air working in from the north. And on the 22nd, we warm right back up. And uh, again, the good news, no sign of any severe weather threats or winter weather mischief for the next 15 days here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.